everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Runic. It is a bullet heaven where you kind of combine spells together. I do have a little bit of gold, but I don't think I can upgrade it. Or, I, I, yeah, I can't unlock anything. So we're just gonna start and we'll make it work. So, oh, wow, this is still loud. Uh, one second. So Wonder are the video essays that you make on the Wonderbot channel. They're over on Wonderbot Prime, actually. So Aura, let's grab Aura as our starting rune. Uh, there might not actually be an aura. I think it's actually something I oh I cast and it lasts and that makes sense But yeah, my my video essays are on Wanderbot Prime Which is a separate channel that I made specifically so I could uh, do more highly edited stuff and people could find them Obviously, there's a little bit of issue with like actually telling people that it, it exists and I'm hoping as it gets bigger That won't be as much of a problem So pierce chance to apply burning freezing reduce mana cost or reduce cooldown time Ooh, I don't, hmm, go for reduced cooldown time. So you, this is a bullet heaven where you actually make your own spells and attacks, which has the potential to be like absolutely incredible. Okay, so what do we have? Gain a shield that regenerates, plus one max HP, chance to apply burning, extra duration, or more damage. Let's go for extra duration, because we want duration, size, and then maybe triggering another spell. We'll see how it goes. Okay. And yeah, we want to find the first sigil, but I have no idea what that entails. Also, it looks like cooldown is not that helpful. So extra mana, ooh, extra mana regen. Or another level of aura. Mm, let's grab another level of aura. Here's the question. Oh, you can't. Well, it's fine. Cause yeah, I'd, I'd like to upgrade my aura based to parameters. Make it a little bit better. And we're just gonna kind of cook these guys in the meantime. So gain a shield, gain a bolt. Bolt is interesting and kind of tempting. Pierce, splitting. I don't think splitting is really that helpful. So let's snag bolt. Here's the cool thing. Oh, each spell can only have one focus rune. Wait. Oh shoot. How did this work again? I know you can make it so it, oh. It's a, it's a chain thing. That's what it was. I need a specific sigil to get what I'm looking for here. Uh, let's see. Enlargement would be tempting, but we want to grab all three aura runes, move them over here, and upgrade. So now we can get reduced size, more damage, uh, just overall bonus, or two size. Let's go for massive. We mostly want this to kill trash. There, that's bigger and better. Definitely does more damage. Okay, EXP gain, pierce, chance to apply burning, chance to apply freezing. Uh, let's grab the EXP gain, just because. Yeah, massive aura is what I'm looking for. But yeah, so I, I've got to work on telling people that Wanderbot Prime exists, just because it's effectively, I don't want to say my retirement plan, um, but it is definitely kind of the, the thing I want to put more time into in terms of, like, uh, long-form content. Like, a lot of YouTube videos that I put, put out tend to get kind of buried over time. Bounces, max HP, splitting, shield rune, another aura. I wonder if you can go beyond level 2. I wonder his retirement plan is do more work. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's a bit of an issue. It's something that I don't know. It's one of those where it's like I actually really like working. I think the main thing is I just need to have the freedom to take a break when I need to. Let's grab another duration rune. Can't do anything with it for the time being. Let's see, Wonder, are you going to be doing Wholesome Verse this week? Yes, we're going to be doing Jackbox, the new one. Uh, one of our buddies uh, got access to it early and was like, hey, you guys want to do uh, some Jackbox party pack? Is it nine? Are they up to nine now? I think they're up to nine. And we're like, hell yeah.
Let's see. I'm gonna grab this. I'm just gonna put it there. Or the freaking gnomes shooting at me. It's the gnomes! Oh, I was wondering about that. I thought just random things were shooting at me, and the answer is no. I'm being harassed by gnomes. Okay, and then track down the first guardian. Maybe I could. Ow. Oh, it's hard to read chat when enemies are shooting at me. It's easier in a regular bullet heaven because I can just kind of tune out and zen. Doesn't work when uh, they shoot back. Uh, let's see, do we want to grab the shield? Kind of, yeah. Let's do that. That way I don't take as much damage. Uh, let's see, you basically don't want to burn out. Uh, so Prime exists so you can do something different. Yeah. And, I mean, it's... So, the other thing is... The way YouTube works is you really don't actually want to do more than X number of videos per day. Sometimes you can kind of go above and beyond. But the less videos you put out, generally the more your audience will watch those specific videos. Um... And so, if you're putting out, like, tons and tons of videos, you actually have, like, pretty bad diminishing returns. Um, and so, you know, back when I used to do Let's Plays, it was kind of necessary if I ever wanted to finish a single series without literally dedicating my channel to a game for a month. Without, like, serious editing or some other tricks. And the problem is, like, Let's Plays are a dime a dozen, so there's just tons of them. Um, and so I kind of burnt out on doing Let's Plays because... Ultimately, when it came down to it, they just didn't have the staying power or the interest that they used to. Split cooldown time, Pierce. Oh, Pierce actually would be pretty good on the shooty boy. We should probably get the next level of this. Oh, hold up. Help. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Oh, no, this is not what I was looking for. Because, yeah, what I want to do is get a linked spell. But... Maybe we just haven't seen it go by yet. Okay, so you're a boss. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna bounce projectiles off of his face. Because we need him to actually die. I don't know if his aura hurts me. Okay. Only immediate problem is I do not have enough mana to kill all of these spiders, which is a bit of an issue. Stankus, I'm guessing uh, it does like a stink cloud based on the name. Oh no, I just named myself Stankus. That's the name for the save file. <laughs> because why not? Let's just give it another bounce. There we go. Or no, his name is Stankus. You're right. I thought I named myself Stankus. No, his name is Stankus. What? I swear I named myself Stankus in a video game recently. I am confused. Okay. Oh, this is like the worst game for me to be having a conversation with anybody on. Uh, let's see, we have a nibble hands. We do have 30% extra damage, which... Yeah, I'm gonna get 30% extra damage on that aura, because the aura is not doing enough damage here. Well, we are rolling them. All right, let's upgrade the bolts, at the very least, because I needed to kill bosses. Okay, knock back and split, knock back damage and pierce. Slower, oh, that's interesting. So 5 damage, 10 damage, 8 mana cost. So this makes it really slow. This makes it pierce, and this makes it so there's two of them. So slows it down, 3 knockback, 10 damage. Uh, ooh. Do I want two bouncy things, or do I want big old damage? Let's go 
split bolt. Split bolt sounds more fun. Okay, and I can't do anything else with it. Oh, it, yeah, that's actually a three split. I thought it was just gonna be two, so I picked right. Perfect. Okay, let's grab the last enlargement because I think we can mush them together. No, a plus three size, knockback in size, or damage in size. Ooh, these are tough. Um, I'm just gonna go for a big. Okay, so what is this? Oh, trinket. Conditions on enemies last twice as long. Trail of ice, freezing enemies behind you. Enemies affected by both freezing and burning take double damage. Spread both to nearby enemies on death. Let's grab that because now I know that I should probably give my bolt freezing and burning. Or maybe my aura. I'm not entirely sure. Let's go find that second sigil. So I wonder when's the next roguelike roulette. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I, I might as well just kind of ramble about this while we're here. Uh, even though it's not particularly relevant, maybe to people watching Runic, but like, whatever. Um, so I've been having a lot of trouble streaming lately just because my life is in chaos. Uh, ooh. I still want to link a rune, but I haven't figured out how to do it yet. Let's grab that, at least for the time being. Um, anyway, so... I guess I might as well bounce some things off of these guys' face. As we just head for the next sigil. Uh, so I've been having a lot of trouble streaming lately because one of the biggest issues with Twitch, just in general, is that Twitch doesn't really let you leave. Uh, that if you want to take a break or if you have to travel for any reason, you either have to like just let your channel die or like figure out how to stream while you're on the go. Neither of which are partic particularly healthy. I got to meet some bigger streamers uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Week and a half ago. Um, nope. Okay, it's only four seconds, but this is a big mass. Okay, there we go. I just stack multiple instances of my aura. It'll be fine. Hey, there's linking. I wonder when that was going to show up. So let's get rid of bonus experience. Nice as it would be. I want to be able to link a rune soon at some point. Uh, I guess I'll put the extra experience back on for the time being. Okay, so anyway, I uh, met a couple of big streamers recently. And it was interesting talking to them because they were like... Like, one of them was talking about getting back from his wedding and then immediately having to go stream because, you know, he hadn't streamed for the entirety of the honeymoon, which, you know, makes sense. Um, except for while he was on his honeymoon, he uh, got COVID and was, like, trying to stream because of... Or he was trying to stream because he hadn't streamed in a while and because, you know, numbers just dip due to effectively atrophy on... Um, on Twitch and that like even though he had COVID and was like just having the worst time of it he was still trying to stream because that's what the platform kind of requires and so I'm kind of in this position where I need to travel a lot this year uh, as I still live in my parents basement and very much would like to not and so that means house hunting and checking out cities and a bunch of other things and then also just living your family means a lot more opportunity to travel whereas Previously, I was in Portland and pandemic was happening, so it didn't really matter so much. Um, and so now, you know, I got back from a trip, like I said, a week and a half ago, and then I'm going on another trip in three days. Uh, we leave we leave in a couple of days. Well, it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to try and, like, break into my house while my parents are here. That'd be weird. Oh my god, there's so many of these golems. At least this aura is cheap. So I can just stack as many instances as I want. Uh, let's see. Do we want to get the third tier of bouncing? Actually, maybe? Yeah, let's get uh, level 3 bounciness so I can kind of stack these up. I assume pre-recorded streams aren't allowed on Twitch. They are? I don't know if they're really worth it. Pierce and bounces. Let's go for the pierce and bounce. The Gnome King, King is five gnomes stacked. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's amazing. Now let's put this on so we get a little bit more EXP. So it looks like it does pierce before bounce, which is actually pretty good. 
Uh, anyway, so yeah, we're going on another trip in a couple of days and I don't necessarily know how long I'm going to be gone for, but I'm going to miss effectively one of my standard weeks of, uh, weeks worth of streaming. Uh, presuming, you know, I keep to my usual schedule of streaming every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so I'm going to miss another one of those, but do I get back from that trip and start streaming immediately? And the answer is like, I really want to. That doesn't sound fun to me. Uh, let's see. Movement speed. Reduced mana cost or the bonus mana regen would actually be kind of good. So let's snag that. I'll put it on... Oh yeah, we already have one of the mana regen runes too. Perfect. Let's see. A lot of folks on Twitch do subathons where they play clip shows of themselves while they sleep. Ugh. And so, like, I'm not gonna lie over the last, uh... Let's see, Frugality. Oh, Blast. Blast is what I'm looking for. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this. We're going to grab Linking. And then we're going to do Blast. So, I'm not sure... Oh, that's on kill. Eh, that should be fine. Okay, cool. So now when an enemy dies, they explode. Holy shit, that's good. That's, like, the most perfect thing I could have put on the aura. Uh, let's see, do we want to do another Nimble Hands for a cooldown time? No, let's go for the damage. Save up for that. Uh, but so like, I've been having some trouble with Twitch as a platform for a while now, just because I find, uh, an amount of how the platform works to be worse. Let's see, mana regen, mana regen, mana regen, and EXP gain. Ooh. But no, 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 no. We just need to shoot good. Okay. Popped my shield, so I gotta be a little careful here. Because it's gonna be pretty easy for me to get surrounded. And it'd be bad. Um, anyway, so yeah, I've just been having trouble with Twitch, like, from a platform perspective, just because it doesn't feel that good anymore. Uh, like, I think I joined a little bit too late to get the, like, real true Twitch culture from, like, the... Uh, from, like, 2012 and 2013. Um... I'm gonna knock back. No, we want pain. Because now we got three pain runes. I can put them on my aura. Let's see. Extra damage, reduce cooldown time, and spell speed. Plus seven damage. Uh, let's just do the plus seven damage because that's obscene on the, the aura. I guess I'm gonna put that there. I don't care about the rest. Oh boy, that makes my aura freaking spooky. Wow. These golems are just popping left and right. We still gotta kill the, uh, the Gnome King somehow, but at least the golems aren't a problem. Oh, did I? Oh, okay, I didn't take damage from that. Let's see, Link spell on kill. I'm curious about linked on hit, but can't do that at the moment. Let's go for EXP. Because I've got three of these, we can link them and see what we get. 30% EXP gain. Linked spell on hit. Reduced EXP or 10% EXP gain, two rune options. I like that. Uh, let's see, did you ever check out Floatplane for streaming on YouTube and Twitch? So I can't actually do that. Um, I'm not allowed. Uh, let's see, enemy has a chance of dropping a healing item. Scythe orbits you or kill every visible enemy every two minutes. Now, let's go for the Necromancer's Hand. Just the free healing items should be pretty, pretty much everything I need and then some. Uh, let's see. Let's go for lingering. Because that way we can max this out. So, plus three duration, duration spell speed, or cooldown time. Oh, semi permanence. So, plus 10 second duration, heavily reduced cooldown in time, but the mana cost goes way high. What is the duration on this currently? Because spell speed isn't that good. Ah, this is tempting. Just because it would have what? A 13 second duration, but it would have a 60 mana cost. Nah, let's do it. Let's see what happens.
Because more or less, now I just cast it whenever I'm at max mana. So I might not be able to stack it quite as much as I want, but I might also be able to grab um, a couple other things. So we have extra splitting, movement, freezing. I think we want to snag freezing. And go down here. Anyway, so yeah, I used to stream on YouTube and Twitch, but I can't do it anymore. If you're a Twitch partner, you're not allowed to do that, which frankly is kind of annoying. Um, let's see. It's once again linked on kill. It's a little, it's tempting, but I think I might want to start saving up for frugality. Because if I can put a good frugality on that aura, I bet it could become stupid. And then at some point we need to upgrade my bombs. Uh, let's see. The other thing we might want to do... Ow. Oh, we haven't actually gotten any healing items from any of these guys. I was kind of expecting they'd show up at some point. Whew. Uh, let's see. Well, do we grab our next blast rune? Maybe. The damage on it is good. Uh, let's see, what else could I snag? Because I could work on the shield. We don't have anything else. Yeah, let's just go blast. Oop. That could have gone bad. Yeah, I think I think I should not have gone for semi-permanence. I don't think it was actually as good as I'd like it to be. Oh, here's the thing I didn't notice. Aura is actually something that's on the ground where I was. It doesn't follow me. It's not an aura. It's like an earthquake. Previously, because I was casting it so much, I just didn't notice. But now that I have semi-permanence on, I'm noticing. Oh, that's rough. It could be a bug. It could be a bug or a design choice. I'm not entirely sure. Well, here's the thing. I can always pop this off and put it on something else instead. I don't necessarily know what. Okay. Let's grab the third level of Blast. See what that gets me. Let's see. Reduce size. A longer duration. Or bigger size. Three size. Oh, here's an idea. What if I do that? Okay, so now my blasts last forever and they're free because it's on kill. Oh my gosh. And they're huge too. So now all I need to do is get the fire rune and it's just going to it's just going to merc shit. Oh, I love this. This is really cool. I think the only immediate problem with this game uh that I can speak speak of or really the only the only thing bad about this game mostly boils down to the fact that it doesn't it doesn't look very, very good. Art style wise it's pretty basic. But Oh, it's got some ideas. It's got some ideas that I like. Now, I wonder if the cooldown... Ooh. Cooldown might actually be how fast it blasts. Let's actually snag that more than mana cost. I might actually want to stack cooldown on my aura. Maybe? I don't know. Like, we've got enough mana regen that my aura is effectively endless. Like, I, need to, I can just stack, like, a goofy amount of them. We will probably want to get some more duration on my base aura. Just because having it super layer on itself could be really, really stanky busted in its own way. I'm just going to have to kind of push my way there. Linked on skill, nimble hands. Now, let's grab these. 
Upgrade that. Okay, reduce cooldown time, cooldown time, and split. No, just reduce cooldown time. So now the bomb should explode constantly much faster. Okay, do we go find the next boss? I think so. Oh, I only have six minutes left to get the last of the boss sigils, though. Yeah, that's a little that's a little rough, and I don't think I'm going to do it. But at the same time, it's fine. I was really expecting to get some healing items from some of these guys. That was like a 2% chance, but... I guess not. I don't know. Here. We're free of the... The heck. At least for the time being. And here's our next boss. Hopefully it's not a shooty boy. Oh, this is defend a sigil. Oh, that's easy. Oh, it's a 0.2% chance. Got it. Sorry, I think I saw saw the point too, as, it, as in like, uh, oh yeah, no, I just definitely misread that. Well, it is what it is. I might also want to listen to my own music if I do a subsequent run for this. I think I will. I think this is actually really fun. It it needs some work, uh, kind of, maybe? Not too much. Okay, I was really hoping to get a burn at some point. We are not particularly lucky. Oh, I put the freezing here. Why did I do that? There we go. Get frozen, son. Now, if only I could find the burn. But yeah, everything getting killed by my bombs is just going to hyper freeze. Or everything in the range of my bomb explosions is just going to get locked down and can't do anything about it. Whoops. Do not walk into death. Ah, damn it. Spiders move weird. And I'm only partly paying attention. Uh, let's see. Oh, boss is up here. Sorry, I'm just chasing all of the EXP points. Because I do want to level up. I will say, I wish you leveled up faster in this game. Oh, I see, it's the green bits. Well, there's fire. Okay, so now they're going to burn and freeze, which should actually make this, like, way stronger. Okay, the problem is, I think I have with the spiders is that I have trouble visually identifying spiders, emotion bot. Okay, that's weird. Uh, I have trouble identifying the spiders compared to the gold flying at me. Which might sound kind of weird, but is what it is. Alright, I might as well actually shoot at a motion bot. Okay. Welcome to Hex, son. Oh, please give me another frost. I deserve it. Okay, find the final sigil. Oh, shit. Uh, conditions last twice as long. Projectile focus spells shoot a mirror copy in the opposite direction. Or spacebar dash. Uh, let's go for an Amulet of Kronos. Uh-oh. Okay, no, there it goes. So now they burn and freeze longer. None of you are what I'm looking for. Shoot. The splitting isn't that helpful. Extra EXP aura bounces. I could go for the max HP. But I guess I'm just going to snag a pierce. Not that my shots are particularly strong. I wish you leveled up a little faster in this one. I'd rather be inundated with interesting options more than anything else. Okay. Yeah, I did not realize I had a time limit to actually win this. I'm used to these games just having a survive for time. Yep. Damn it. But we got we got some gold. Maybe we can get something interesting. I don't think this actually has meta progression in the same way. So we have the Endless Plains, Shadowlands, and then there's also higher difficulty levels. Oof. So hats. Ooh. 
I only have 90 gold though. Two additional gold per minute survived. I might actually want to grab the crown. Straw head hat ain't bad. Your initial spells have plus one link spell on kills. Wait. That's absurd. All of these are really good. Yeah, what about a better stick? Damage. Every spell has an additional rune slot. Initial spells have link spells when applying burning. But they're so expensive. Let's see, mana regen, knockback, movement speed, EXP gain. Tends to apply burning on all spells. Uh, I think we might as well start with this uh, hat. The main question is, crown for extra grind? Sure. Okay, let's try this again. I really like aura. I think aura is fantastic. What is the difference between aura and blast? I'm not quite sure. We also have summon, which would be interesting Let's grab summon. Let's see what summon does. Okay, summon is amazing. They they look like they home in on enemies. Interesting. So I think I want to give them pierce or bounce. Well, one way or another, we also want to head for the first boss, uh, first sigil on bosses, quickly, and also get some mana regen because who oh boy I do not have enough I don't even I don't even know what I'm gonna link but link spells are free I wonder if I could actually just link a bunch of ghosts like weird ghost cascade Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try swapping this. Let's do aura that summons ghost on kill. Yeah, that seems a bit better. Uh, let's grab the next aura immediately. The sooner we get it up to T2, the better. I unfortunately I think I'm just going to be a little reliant on aura for a while for just being absurdly good. Luckily, our RNG seems to be just holding. So, we don't want to do reduced size. Lingering is tempting, but I think we want large. Massive aura worked really well in our favor last time. Am I one, one trick pony with this? Absolutely. freaking lootly. But that's fine. Uh, let's see, moving size, split, mana cut, mm. What about, can I split the ghosts? Can I get two ghosts? Oh, hell yeah. Ghost time! Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if you can have the ghosts... Well, I don't know if you can link another spell off of the ghosts. So swift summon, large summon, so extra size, or persistent summon. Two pierce. I think we want the persistent. We don't really need large size. We just need these guys to just shred things. Oh, this is like the most Halloween shit ever. Wait, hold up. I'm gonna pause the game. We're gonna alt tab. I don't like the, I don't like the music that much for this game just because it's one song forever. So instead, we're gonna turn on this. I'm gonna see if we can find some properly spooky music. Stations, come on, don't let me down. There's gotta be a, a good Halloween. Well, we have hard dance. <laughs> <laughs> and then happy holidays. We could do Christmas music. Come on. Do we not have spooky music? Oh, there it is. There it is. It's October. I need some spooky stuff. I had all sorts of plans this year for like kind of spooky Halloween-y things. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work out the way I wanted it to, but that's fine. Damage knockback, linking... I don't want to do Bolt again. Let's do Freezing. I 
I wonder if I do fire. Let's give the ghost pierce. Because that makes them so much stronger. Okay, this is actually like real spooky music. I was kind of hoping for like the doot doot fake spooky. But I guess, you know what? We're just going to have actual spooky. Yeah, can you put linked on a linked spell? I don't know. And like, I think I want to know. Only immediate problem is I'm actually going to get less EXP from this because it's going to be spread out all over the place. Oops. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Grab another splitting. Third ghost. Who cares about the damage? Enjoy ghosts, suckers. Yeah, anytime I kill something with my aura, it's just ghosts. Uh... Okay, uh, Torch of Frozen Fire? Absolutely. It feels like this is very early access. The selection on both the runes and uh, some other things is a little, little thinner than I thought it was going to be. I would love to see this have like just a legion of abilities. I like the idea of the Necromancer's Hand, but we had it for, like, the entire run last time, and it didn't do anything for me, so... I don't know. The problem is I'm very reliant on my auras to do damage, and I haven't found many damage upgrades, so we're going to be able to freeze the heck out of these guys. Oh, but I'm not actually going to be able to do much about it. Uh, let's see, do we want to stack duration more than anything else? Yeah. I might as well have lingering auras that last a while. And no, we should probably be killing these guys. Oh, there it is. The golems are not as tough as I thought they would be. I think also just stacking some duration on my auras does wonders and then obviously at some point we're going to need damage upgrades on both the aura and my ghosts or burning you did get green things but maybe it wasn't healing no the green stuff doesn't actually heal uh the green stuff is just more valuable exp pips we never saw a healing anything pop in Okay, reduce cooldown time. I don't actually know what that does for the ghost. I don't think it helps them in the slightest. I could, I could grab the shield. Yeah, we'll grab it. I'll just put it here. Even though I don't have a spell equipped, it still lasts. Oh my god, there's a lot of spiders. It's a lot of spiders. And they're a little hard to see around all the ghosts. Uh, we need pain. I'd up the ghost damage, but we don't cascade ghosts off of ghost kills. Now, if we manage to get ghosts... As, like, if we can get six ghost power-ups, I would not mind swapping my aura out. <laughs> oh, don't tempt me. Because it could swap aura out for more summons and just do summons that summon more summons. It's tempting. It's really tempting. But I think I think for now I'm going to focus on the aura just because aura is really good. Putting ghosts onto ghosts sounds amazing, uh, but possibly not that great. Whereas currently we're we still have the ghost powers. We're still pretty strong. I know there is a linking rune that is linked spell on hit, which would be absurd for ghosts. Which is under EXP. I might almost want to swap that. Uh, okay, let's grab let's grab the EXP gain for the time being. I'm gonna I'm gonna pursue this. Oh, here's the other thing. I can increase my ghost damage a bit. I don't know why I did that at first, but yeah. Can you link the ghost onto another ghost? I don't think you can recursively link. That would be upsettingly strong. 
possibly absurdly strong. Oh, Link on Hit is upgraded, upgraded Link. Oh shit, I didn't even think you could upgrade Link. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oops. Okay. Real question. Nope. It actually rebels. It says no. <laughs> you cannot do this thing you are attempting. Which frankly does not surprise me in the slightest. Uh let's see, no, we want the we want the pierce. Longer ghost lifespan is more important. Holy shit, this this music is wait, is that like a bomb? It was a bomb enemy. Interesting. I don't remember them from the last time. Oh, but we're also in a new map. Okay, I gotta stop. This move, this music is too spooky for me. We're just gonna switch over to like chiptune or something. Damn. Like what I really wanted was like doot doot spooky, not like real spooky. Okay, I got 14 minutes and plenty of time. Okay, there we go. Uh, really? Is that long of a cooldown? Ouch. Huh. Seems like pausing this game actually makes it freak out somehow. Cause my my aura isn't hitting the way it's supposed to be. Okay. There it's kind of going. It's just some of them only go for like a smidge. What? I I don't think this game likes me all tabbing it. Like, sometimes it's fine, and then sometimes it just... It don't like it. Okay. I guess we're just gonna swap them. No, that doesn't work. My ghosts are shit. Either that or these golems have uh, become massively stronger. I guess we've never, we only have one duration upgrade. Whereas last time I was here, I had a lot more. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter too much. Spooky one would be good for a D&D campaign. Yup. I very much look forward to running Dungeons and Dragons again, at some point. At some point. Oh, that was a close miss. And this is why the bombs were good over the ghosts. Don't get me wrong, I like... I like him. Okay, there's linking. So let's... Destroy everything. Upgrade the linking rune. Two links, spell on kill. Link spell on kill, or burning and freezing. Oh, that's... Oh, that. That's interesting. That's completely different. Oh, we need some cooldown reduction. Yeah, it really feels like some of my auras only last for half a second for some reason, and I'm not quite sure why. And it's causing me to become extraordinarily weak. It could be a visual bug. But yeah, that one just kind of went bit. This one lasted a little longer. And if you notice, like, I start gouting ghosts. 
That's an impressive golem Katamari. Uh, I like, I want to try this again because I, I can't help but think this is actually bugging out on me. There's no skill energy system. Because it, these should be lasting for like three or four seconds, not like a moment. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's just retry that one. I, aura is definitely the way to go. Upgrading linking is absurd. I'm going to need a lot of spells for it. It could have been delay, but yeah, I, I think it was just a bug because I alt tabbed it a bunch. Because yeah, this, this is working now. I, I don't know. That was confusing. Ah, uh, do we do ghosts again? Yeah. Oh, though I should probably have done uh, freezing in retrospect. Though we don't actually know if we're going to get that relic again. Hey, thank you, THX, for the 49-month resub. Thank you. And yeah, maybe it broke down in the process with the ghost. I just noticed it happened after I alt-tabbed back in. Maybe. But I, I don't actually. I don't know, man. I, I wish I knew. I probably should have gone for the EXP up in retrospect. Is what it is. Because yeah, I think EXP up is actually super secretly one of the better things you can probably snag in this game. Okay. Please give me linking rune. I have been a mean, mean person and a terrible friend. What if we link aura to aura? What happens? I don't, I don't know. I think ghost is better. And then ghost to more ghost. But what if ghost create ghost? Okay, it's pretty sad, actually. Oh, because I took away my ghost. Oops. It's fine. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to increase my EXP gain. Because I think it actually would be banger good. Well, we just have this immediately. Here's the question, do we actually want to do the elemental one? Or do we want to do link spell on hit? 20% chance. Can you chain link runes? I wish you could. So, I think Havoc is better. Yes, it is. We just need to get one. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna jam Ghost down on that one. But no, you, you cannot have like super recursive spell linking. I wish you could. Holy shit, that'd be amazing. Okay, so we're just gonna try and do a bunch of damage. There's the burn. Because now whenever we burn, we summon Ghost. Oh, interesting, it actually summons Ghost from my cursor. Okay, can't could do another link, but that would be really silly. Uh, let's just do another lingering. Up the duration on this. Okay, and then try very hard not to get hit. Unfortunately, we haven't found the the last of the aura runes, so we're a little limited in what we can do. Uh, yeah, none of these are really what I'm looking for, but that's fine. Get rid of the... Oh, can we not do double fire? Oh, yeah, we can. I don't know if that actually increases the chances of burning. Oh, boy. And then stay away from Stankman. Yeah, the whole link... Uh, cast spell on burning is actually really ha helpful. 
even if we don't get the treasure chest that increases the damage, that's just so much more reliable. Oh, that aura is actually a little spooky. Oh, what? I actually got hit there? Ah, damn. It's probably just the sheer quantity of gnomes that is piled into the back of this setup that are largely defended by uh, all of the golems that I cannot get through. And also Stankis, who I can also cannot hurt. Ah, uh, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. We're gonna swap those. Can't do any freezing anyway. We'll give this lingering. There. Now every every enemy that is uh, burning is also now exploding. That should give us way more of a chance to potentially hit some of those gnomes. I think actually, yeah, we've hit quite a number of them. Quite a lot. Okay, let's grab fire. It might have been something better, but I don't know. Upgrade. So, uh, burning extra movement speed. 100% chance to apply burning or... Hmm. How would this even work? I don't freaking know, man. Oop. Oh, that's how it works. All right, sick. That's absurd. <laughs> so now we do bombs and ghosts on fire. Only immediate problem is there's a lot of spiders. Okay. We desperately need some AoE here and some other things, but at least we've got we've got some interesting things going on. Uh, Rick, uh, hi. Okay. Hi. Uh, this is fine. Do we get our third aura? Yes. Thank you. Oh, I desperately needed you. All right. So we have focused aura, lingering aura, massive aura. Massive always. I need an hourglass. I need so many things, but we just got, like, the number one. Because now everything burns, but now everything explodes and turns into ghosts. So now that we've done that, uh, enlargement is certainly tempting. EXP would be good. Shit. Uh, you know, I'm actually going to grab the enlargement and eh, just put it on this. The more things burn, the better. Welcome to Explosion Town. I will kill you eventually. I could go for freezing. Uh, wouldn't be dwarf. But I think we want the damage. Okay, let's put the damage on that and make my explosions a bit bigger. Okay, Stankus is finally dead. Ding dong. Trail of ice behind you. Conditions on enemies last twice as long. Absolutely. Okay. And we need some mana regen. We desperately do. Because shit is kind of expensive. This helps. Oh. Go for the split on the ghosts. Now we're going to be shitting more ghosts. You ever pooped out a ghost before? <laughs> That's a weird thing. Wanders outstanding Stankus with his aura. Absolutely. I see a man in his own Stank aura and say, I can do better than that. And I unleash. Best combo for aura is split. Wait, really? You can split aura? I guess I haven't tried it. This is 
it just double the amount of aura ticks? Uh... No, it, do it doesn't actually work with Aura. I kind of wish the game would actually prevent you from doing certain things or telling you if, like, yeah, this doesn't actually do anything. It does multiple offset auras. Ooh. Let's, uh... Let's try this. I can't actually tell if that's working or not. Like, to some degree, it's kind of nice to have it on the ghosts. I don't know. I, th I think I'm going to put it back on the ghosts. Try big aura with multi-split. Okay. Swap aura with bombs. No. It, if you guys want to do this, you're welcome to play it yourselves. Like, that's always an option. Ah, shit, it's the Gnome King. Oh, well, it's okay. Burn sucker. Like, we took seven years to kill Stankus. Gnome King dies in a minute. Okay, let's grab another mana regen. Oh, I might take some damage. Grab the touch of frozen flame. No, it didn't actually hit me. Oh, I'm lucky. But yeah, there might be better combos than what I'm currently doing, but I am going to do what I want to do. Because otherwise, why am I streaming? Uh, let's see. Okay. We've already upgraded fire. We've already upgraded link. We've already upgraded aura. We have not done anything for freezing. I also haven't upgraded my ghost, which I'm a little annoyed by. Uh, let's get rid of that. Much as the extra duration would be kind of nice. Oh no! It's it happened again. Weird. Yeah, it seems like messing with the duration of Aura causes it to bug out in the worst possible way. Weird. Well, that's unfortunate. Hopefully it gets fixed. Because, like, I really love this game. I think it's incredibly... I think it's incredibly cool, just in terms of, like, what you can do with the spells. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Uh, and, like, the sheer potential there is, is really exciting. But... If it, like, bugs out and suddenly your your spells become crap because question mark, then that's, uh, hopefully that gets fixed or something. Because, oof. But if, if and when that gets fixed and get some more content, I'm super down for coming back to this one. I think it's really cool and I want to try more of it. I just want to do it when I'm, uh, capable of doing really well. Oh, and we also have linked spell when applying burning. It's not actually as good as you think it would be now that I'm thinking about it. Because in retrospect, uh, I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. You could stack all sorts of spells, but we were having trouble leveling more than anything else. I almost wonder if like getting the princess early wouldn't be the worst idea, but is fine. For now, though, I guess I should probably mention that Runic's been out uh, for a couple of days, I think. Maybe a couple, couple of weeks. Uh, it came out September 30th, so, yeah, a week and a half, give or take. And it's another three-buck bullet heaven. Honestly, pretty fantastic. I'm hoping once it gets some more updates, it's going to be, like, really solid. The developer's saying two to three months, which I could kind of understand. Uh, but I hope this gets enough development to, like, really make use of that spell combination system. Because that specific... Okay, 
Dev has been finding out how to how linked all his code is. Fix one thing, break three others. Yeah, figured. Um, but the the spell linking system in this is by and far the most interesting mechanic I've seen in a bullet heaven uh, since. I mean, since Brotato, but also since uh, 20 Minutes Till Dawn yoinked Nova Drift's upgrade system. And so it's one of those that if you could if you could potentially... Uh, I mean, obviously, apart from fixi fixing the bugs, but like expand this further, I bet this could actually be one of those bullet heavens that uh, really does well. I love the system and I can't wait to see more of this, but I can totally see why uh, the code is a little buggy. So for now at least, uh, I guess for people watching this on YouTube, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, if I can say the words, and let's move on to the next.